next topic i am going to discuss about lapse rate and all you know what is lapse rate that means change of temperature with change with height or altitude okay and mainly uh, two types of apps lapse rate one is ambient lapse rate and it also known as environmental lapse rate or prevailing lapse rate okay and, and shortly it is known as elr and another Oh, another lapse rate is the adiabatic lapse rate adiabatic lapse rate that means it is denoted by alr okay so what is ambient lapse rate ambient lapse rate means when a packet of air moves upward in the atmosphere it experiences less pressure and it hence it expand and cool down and the surrounding air gains heat and becomes little hotter that means when a packet of air moves upward in the atmosphere it experiences less pressure okay and hence it expand that means less pressure means volume is greater so that means it expand and cool down and the surrounding air um, gets heat and become little hotter and this process is called ambient lapse rate so now what is adiabatic lapse rate adiabatic all you know in your first uh, first research, second semester are in uh, thermodynamics uh, um, thermodynamics and adiabatic process adiabatic process means change of heat is constant that means q equal to constant that means dq is equal to zero so that means so what is adiabatic lapse rate when a packet of air moves upward assume that as the packet moves there is no heat transfer across its boundary okay so no heat transfers mean no heat transfer that means this process is carried out in adiabatic way okay and now this process is called adiabatic lapse rate and now this is the graphical representation when you plot height versus temperature and following curve is obtained okay now adiabatic lapse rate mainly two types okay number one is dry adiabatic lapse rate and next number two is the saturated adiabatic lapse rate so what is dry adiabatic lapse rate when the packet of air is dry and the temperature is more than dew point so now next topic is what is dew point dew point means temperature at which dew is formed okay and now this process is called dry adiabatic lapse rate so what is dry adiabatic lapse rate when the packet of air is dry and temperature is more than dew point and this lapse rate is called the dry adiabatic lapse rate now it is constant at 9.76 degree celsius per kilometer and next next lapse rate is adiabatic lapse rate is saturated adiabatic lapse rate s a l r the when the air is saturated with moisture and temperature is less than dew point called saturated adiabatic lapse rate or wet adiabatic lapse rate that means when the air is saturated with moisture and the temperature is less than dew point so now in that case two condition one one is temperature more than dew point now this is called dry adiabatic lapse rate and when the temperature is less than dew point is called saturated adiabatic lapse rate okay now um, there is some condition for atmospheric stability so uh, how atmospheric is stable now it is important because it determine the ability of pollutant to disperse vertically into atmosphere and its ability to dilute pollution okay so there are three different cases of atmospheric stability number one is when environmental lapse rate that means ambient lapse rate is greater than adiabatic lapse rate that means atmosphere is unstable because the internal temperature of the air packet is higher than the surroundings okay next is when elr less than alr so then the atmosphere atmosphere is stable because internal temperature of air packet is lower than that of the surroundings and when elr is equal to alr then the atmosphere is neutrally stable that means internal temperature of air packet is same as that of the surroundings okay so that means if the temperature of air packet is greater than surrounding temperature this is atmosphere is unstable if elr less than elr that means when the temp in in temperature of the air packet is lower than the surrounding that means atmosphere is stable and when the internal temperature of the air packet is same as that of the surroundings that means the atmosphere condition is neutrally stable okay understand now 
this is sub adiabatic lap state so sub adiabatic lap state means when elr less than alr that means atmosphere is said to be stable and this lap state is called sub adiabatic lap state that means when the internal temperature of the air packet is less than that of the surroundings then this condition is called sub adiabatic lap state and when that internal temperature of the air packet is greater than that of the surroundings then this condition is called super adiabatic lap state and atmosphere is not stable okay